In addition to its default 1080 HD resolution, the Canon M50 can shoot video in 4K. In this video, which is part four of my Canon M50 video guide, I'm going to demonstrate the limitations of 4K, and I'm going to show you how to work around those limitations to create higher resolution 4K video. If you missed earlier videos in this series, in part one, I unboxed a brand new M50 and showed you how to optimize the camera for recording video. In part two, I offered lens recommendations for vlogging, shooting in low light, and other situations. And then in part three, I demonstrated custom picture styles to show you how to squeeze more dynamic range out of the sensor. If you missed any of these videos and you wanna see them before watching this one, a playlist link is above. All right, let's talk about 4K. And by the way, the video that you're watching has been uploaded in 4K, so you're able to see the difference in 4K resolution on the M50. So you might wanna check your player settings here on YouTube to make sure that you're watching it in 4K and not a lower resolution. When you first get your Canon M50 and you pick a video resolution, you will probably be tempted to pick 4K because 4K has twice the resolution of 1080 HD. Well, unfortunately, as I said earlier in this video, there are a couple of important limitations with 4K on this camera. One, 4K uses contrast-based autofocus, which is not as fast or responsive as the dual pixel autofocus, which is used when shooting 1080. Two, 4K video is cropped. And when I say cropped, I mean it is very cropped. Let's take a look at how that crop works. Here is video shot using the Sigma 16 millimeter EFM lens using the 1080 HD resolution. The M50 in this mode is using the full surface area of the sensor without any cropping. Note that this clip has been upscaled to fit a 4K timeline in post, so there may be some loss of image quality. When the M50 is switched to 4K, the same lens creates a video that now looks like this. If we overlay the 4K video on top of the 1080 video, you can clearly see how much of the original image has been lost because the video has been cropped. That crop effectively changes the focal length of whatever lens you have attached by a factor of 2.56 times. This means that the 16 millimeter lens now looks like a 40 millimeter lens when shooting in 4K. So is 4K on the Canon M50 a lost cause? Well, not entirely. That 2.56 crop can be used creatively because it does bring a distant subject closer. So if you're shooting and you find that it looks a little too wide in 1080, you can switch the M50 over to 4K and that crop can actually help improve your composition. It's almost like changing your wide angle lens to either a standard or a telephoto lens when you switch over to 4K. Thankfully, there is an accessory that you can pick up which removes the crop and makes 4K video on the M50 appear almost exactly the same as 1080 HD. That accessory is the Viltrox EF EOS M2 Speed Booster. I briefly talked about this adapter in part three of this video series because this adapter can be used to attach full frame EF and EFS lenses to the M50. But this adapter actually does much more than that. What it does is demagnify the image before reaching the sensor. It does so by using this pane of glass that you see inside of the adapter here. That demagnification process has three notable benefits. One, when shooting in 1080, demagnification makes a full frame lens look like a native crop sensor lens with little to no difference in focal length. For example, here's video shot using the Sigma 16 millimeter EFM lens. And now this is video shot using the Sigma 24 millimeter EF full frame lens mounted on the M50 using the Viltrox Speed Booster. The focal length isn't exactly the same, but it's very close. The second benefit of demagnification is when shooting in 4K. And this is where this little adapter gets magical. The Viltrox squeezes your image into the middle of the sensor. Then when the M50 applies its 4K crop, only blank space is removed. That 4K image 
now appears normal. It appears to have used the full width of the sensor, just like the 1080 HD mode, and you're not losing any of your image. The third benefit of demagnification, and this one is so weird, uh, it's almost like, it almost seems like magic, is the fact that this uh, speed booster adds one additional stop of light to whichever lens you have attached. So for example, if you have an EF lens with a maximum aperture of f4 attached, then that lens would then function as if its maximum aperture were f2.8. An f2.8 lens would then function as f2, and so on. This effectively means that the Viltrox can improve lenses by adding more light to your exposure, which translates into lower ISO values and improved low light performance. Now, an important thing to know about the Viltrox Speed Booster is that this adapter is only compatible with EF and EFS lenses, not EFM lenses, unfortunately. So you can't use the Viltrox and an EFM lens, like the Sigma 16 millimeter that I've been shooting with, to remove the 4K crop. Additionally, the Viltrox does not change autofocus either. Autofocus is still contrast-based in 4K, not dual pixel, but I mean, at least the autofocus still works, even though you have a third-party adapter attached. All right, so some final thoughts here to summarize. Does this Viltrox make 4K on the M50 usable for vlogging? Perhaps. If you happen to own a lightweight, wide-angle EF or EFS lens, which supports autofocus, then yeah, it's doable. But your camera will then be heavier because of the adapter and that full-frame lens. And remember, as I said before, the 4K mode uses that contrast-based autofocus, not dual pixel, so you're gonna have to put up with slower, less responsive autofocus. Does the Viltrox make 4K better for shooting manual focus B-roll or general purpose video? Yes. And this is actually what I think is the strongest use case for the Viltrox because it does improve image quality and sharpness. And again, you then have more flexibility in post when editing that 4K footage and downscaling it to a 1080 HD timeline. But in my opinion, it's not dramatically different than 1080. It doesn't make the M50 suddenly look like a high-end video camera. 4K on the M50 is simply a slightly higher quality version of 1080. I think the users who would benefit most from buying the Viltrox Speed Booster would be people who already own an EF or EFS lens, and they wanna get sharper, more detailed video out of their M50 by shooting in 4K. If, however, you don't already own EF or EFS lenses, personally, I think you'd be better served waiting for the next generation of Canon EFM cameras, which hopefully will remove that crop in 4K instead of using your money now and investing in full frame lenses and adapters. The rumor right now is that there is a Canon uh, M50 Mark II or some new uh, uh, EFM camera that's going to be coming out sometime in early 2021 from Canon. And if that happens, then chances are, hopefully, the 4K mode is going to be cropped. It's also rumored that it's going to have image stabilization as well, in-body image stabilization, not just digital. So it would probably be worth waiting. However, as I said, if you have a need for it right now, if you already own the lenses and you already own the M50 and you wanna shoot in 4K, then this is a pretty minimal investment that you can make to start using that 4K mode today until those newer cameras come out. Hope this video was helpful. If it was, please remember to give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe if you haven't already, if you'd like to keep in touch in the future. At the end of this video, there will be a link to the playlist for the full Canon M50 video guide if you would like to check out the other videos in this series. Thanks so much for being here. I will see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,